friends, this is the Organizer Advisor here to help you enhance your happiness and transform your life. Okay, I decided not to do a live today because I have so much stuff um, and I didn't want to like spread it out all over. So I'm going to use my little studio table here and we're going to talk about our thematic organizing for today, which is going to be handheld devices. So, um, we're gonna, we're gonna talk about, <laughs> I mean, let me switch the camera so you can see the amount of stuff here. I'm gonna let you see all of this stuff. Look at this. I mean, look at this. Um, this is a lot just for handhelds. This is, you know, <laughs> a lot of stuff and it's chaos, but um, we're going to get it under control, get it organized so that we can use it. So I'm going to switch you back and we're going to chat for just a minute. Um, my whole point in doing what I do and taking the time to share this with you is so that A, um, all this stuff that you have is working for your benefit so that you can utilize it to enhance your happiness so that if you're using it it's benefiting you in some way you invested money in all this stuff and if it's not useful it's clutter if it's not enhancing your life in any way it just becomes a pile of shit and if you have all of this stuff and you can't find it you can't get it organized you're not going to be able to utilize. So organize to utilize. And if you can organize it, it's not going to create frustration. All of this, if it's not organized, is just going to be little tiny you know, battles of frustration. The more I try to use and find stuff that I don't know where it is or it doesn't work or it's chaotic and I just can't seem to get my hands on it at the time because I didn't create that dedicated space, it becomes frustrating in order to find something, to be able to use it, and you know, who has time for that? My goal is to help you develop a framework in your home in order to utilize all the stuff that you've invested money in. You're capitalizing on that investment, but also it's being useful to enhance your life and it's not creating frustration and clutter. And that's it. That's the whole bottom line for my process. My light is going kind of crazy, so if it's flickering, it's my light. So um, we're going to talk a little bit about this, but first let's talk about health and beauty. Let's prioritize our uh, self-care. Today is Manny Petty Day. Terrific Tuesday, Manny Petty Day. Don't we love it? And I don't have my nail polish here. I'm, I meant to bring it. See, I can't find it. Um, but it is Manny Petty Day. Uh, you know, maybe soak your feet, soak your hands, some nice Epsom salts or some nice um, scented uh, water bath bath bubbles um, you might even use a bath bomb soak your feet soak your hands exfoliate so you have those nice soft feet and hands make sure you moisturize do a little nail cuticle um, maintenance make sure that your hands and your feet look fabulous I'll just be honest when I look down at my feet and my toes are polished and uh, I don't use finger polish on my, my hands because I work on a farm, <laughs> they're not going to last. It's like a waste of time. But I do like my toenails to be polished and when I look at nicely polished nails when I go to put on my shoes, I, yeah, it's uplifting. When my feet feel soft, it's uplifting. And all of these little strategies that we do in this whole process is to uplift our energy, which boosts our happiness. It's like a little happiness hit all day long. We're surrounded by all these little bursts of positive energy because we've created them and they support us and they keep us rolling through our day. Okay, enough of that. Um, Manny Petty Day exercise you know somewhere between 20 and 30 minutes now let's push ourselves a little bit don't overdo but you know we're working toward um, strength flexibility and tone um, 
just strength, flexibility, and tone, good heart health, good physical well-being kind of exercise. You know, I love to hula hoop, and I never, I didn't learn to hula hoop until I was 58 years old. 58. I learned to hula hoop. Never could do it my whole life, but I learned to hula hoop at 58. So there you go. You're never too old. Anyway, hydrate. You're going to feel better. Sorry, I have ice. You're going to feel energized. Wow. It's like a strobe light. <laughs> You're going to feel energized. It's going to reduce your blood pressure. It's going to help you sleep better. It's going to keep your skin hydrated. It's going to boost your metabolism. Come on. Hydrate. All right. Take vitamins and supplements if you do. Eat clean and take time for stillness, meditation, gratitude, prayer, whatever works for you to kind of just come back to center. Okay. Those are our health and beauty routines. Vitamins, exercise, hydrate, um, mani-pedi, and uh, eat clean, take vitamins and supplements if you do, and take time for stillness. Okay. Then um, we're working on our 10 daily documents of filing the pile. So work on 10 more documents, more if you choose, but you want to keep that momentum going and get all of those papers from the piles filed into an effective filing system so you can find what you need when you need it. Whew. All right. Now we're going to talk about our wardrobe. Today is white day. Um, this is color white, ends up our color for the, um, the rainbow closet, kind of systematically wearing our garments, making sure they fit and feel fabulous, making sure they're in, returned to the closet and ready to wear condition so that we reduce that getting dressed stress. So we, we're doing it systematically using the colors of the rainbow with black and white on the end. So now for the next few days until next Monday when we start our rainbow color again, it's kind of like freestyle. So just wear something that makes you feel good, but remember to um, launder, iron, mend, whatever to get it in ready to wear condition to go back in the closet. So today was rounding out with the last of our sequence and that was white. So anyway, I did have some white on today. Now, here's the big day, big thing today. Today we're going to start on our handhelds. We're going to gather, and you can see the gather. <laughs> and I'm even organized with it. <laughs> I keep all my little, you know, all of my little charging cords wrapped neatly. We're going to talk about that in a minute. Um, but the first thing we need to do is gather. We need to see what we've got, what we're working with, where we need to create a dedicated space. Because if, if you're going to put all of these into... Um, like a drawer it may not work if you have too much so you want to find something that's going to fit all of your stuff and these this little basket's handy but um, you want to create a dedicated space it can be a bin a basket a box it can be a drawer it can be something where you have access to it because honestly if you can't access access the stuff that you have you're not going to use it therefore it's not going to benefit you in any way and it's really just clutter you're not maximizing the investment, it's not working for you, and now it's a waste. And I abhor waste. I like everything to work for me. My light's going crazy. I am so sorry. Hasn't done this before. <laughs> so, you know, it's one of those days. All right, folks, so let's talk about our handhelds. First of all, you want to get all your little tablets and phones anything that's a handheld device um, and you know you can update them um, if you need to um, charge them you know I'm using my Listerine spray because I want to sanitize mine sorry but uh, this cleans the screen very nicely do not spray the device spray a soft cloth you can use a microfiber cloth I'm using a paper towel today But, it, you know, best practice would be a microfiber cloth. But when I'm using my Listerine spray, I'm going to use a paper towel or a uh, wash, a, a terry cloth towel. 
but whatever you use don't let it um, scratch your screen so I'm just cleaning the whole device why to get all the germs when we carry these devices where we go we pick up a lot of germs so look at that um, you want to make sure your device is updated and that it's working fine. Um, you know, if you have to do any maintenance on it, do that. This is my uh, grandson's phone. When he comes, he's got all his little games installed on this. So this is his little phone. So I'm going to definitely sanitize from 12-year-old boys. Okay. Um... Then I'm going to clean my phone. I'm going to try and take it out of this case. And I want to want to clean and sanitize this. Because you know when we are out and about, we're picking up germs. But we, we're, we're carrying our, our cell phones and our devices with us wherever we go. All right. Probably best to turn it off. There we go. And I'm just going to clean even the camera lenses. We'll talk about that in a minute. But now it's clean and sanitized. There you go. Um, I'm also going to just kind of sanitize the case. I know this is kind of not, not the most exciting video, but all right. There we go. Now, um, we want to grab all of our handheld device paraphernalia, which is, I mean, seriously, look at, look at the amount of cords here. That is a lot. Now, if you can see, <laughs> I use an address label and I label them. Why? Because then I can find what I need without having to really go through and, you know, look at the end of each one. Look, this is to the tablet. So you can just use an address label. You can buy those at any office supply store. It's just a you know, rectangular address label. I write on either end, and then I just fold it over on itself. And that kind of keeps my um, cords labeled, but I can also find them when I need them. I also kind of put them with a little rubber band. Why? Okay, that's an easy one. Because if these were all just thrown into a bin box or basket you're gonna they're like Christmas lights you're gonna spend so much time trying to unravel them and untangle them and then you won't be able to use them I mean it, it's just you're just gonna dump them out and say I, I I don't have time my light is going crazy I don't think I'm gonna fix it so um, so what I do is you can use a variety of little um, implements I just kind of you know wind my cords a little bit this is a twist tie so you can see how that keeps this all nice and neat and then this is a little rubber band um see this one is a twist tie but this way you can really um you can even color coordinate the rubber bands if you need to so that if you have different devices like here's a purple one and then see these are all grouped together and there's a purple and then this one's a different one so it's a blue so you can color coordinate I mean do what we're oh look we even have a red one um, but this way you can store all of these without the tangle the entanglement um, I I don't have time I, I do not have time to try and locate the cords, try and unravel them, untangle them like Christmas lights, and then you just get frustrated because you're in a hurry. You're trying to get your cord and get your device and plug it in before it, you know, the battery goes dead and you're in a hurry. So gather and group. I have all my cords here except for a few. Um, remember we have these in our purses by our bedside oh and another thing that's really important do not leave your charging cords plugged in by your bedside or wherever I just think best practices when you're done charging unplug and I talked to my firefighter friend Kelly Smith Kelly um, one of the most common uh, fires starts when people leave their charging cord and on their charging by their bed and then it gets between the pillow and the sheet and it can start a fire so the best practice is once you're done charging your device unplug it 
and then just leave your charger there so that you can plug it quickly back in. But don't leave it plugged in. It's also not safe for animals uh, or pets or children or grandchildren. You don't want to leave one of your chargers plugged in in case a toddler or kid or puppy, in my case, comes and starts to chew on it while it's plugged in. It's not going to do them any good. Okay, so gather and group. You may want to group yours. Look, this is an old iPad. Look at the... So these two are grouped together. So they go with my iPad, and then that's going to go into my iPad case. Um, use cases if you can so that um, it protects your device you know however you need depending you might need an otter box or a life case life proof case but in this case this one very rarely leaves the house so it's going to be in my little case here and so gather and group here's all my um, earbuds stuff Look at all those little replacement earbuds. Um, so I have all my earbuds grouped and gathered. So all the little cases, your rechargeable earbuds, you know, you can have a way of plugging them in. Look at this, now you know me, the little Frenchie case. Haha, <laughs> love that one. And then if, if you don't have a way to store them, um, you can get these little tins. I think these came from uh, little mint tins, so I just have them kind of wadded up in there. Now, let me let me rephrase that. I don't wad up. I, I kind of make them like this. And the reason is, is because when these cords start to get knots and they're being pulled, those wi internal wires break and then your cord is no longer useful and it's always my luck that when that cord goes bad i'm either in a hurry or i've got something really important going on on my device so just saying so get all your charging apparatus apparati but this is for my ipod i have an ipod there's a little one and i have a big one i still use it has all my it has my playlist on it so I have all my iPod stuff in a Ziploc bag and so get all your little chargers your char your plug-ins and then what I would do is I would just kind of systematically go through and plug in my devices and make sure that cord is working and that the charger is working another one of those really frustrating things for me is that when I go to plug in my device I plug it in for overnight I wake up and it's like dead the next morning because either the plug stopped working or the cord stopped working so you may want to just kind of check them you know just systematically you know every time you walk by plug one in oh yeah it's charging that one works so kind of just so that you can be most effective especially if you use your devices for really really important business meetings and things okay headphones you want to get your headphones I want to give those a quick clean but you can also clean your cords if if it makes you happy um, you know me <laughs> clean makes me happy so I just kind of oh look look you see that? That's just from this, really. Yeah, that needed to be cleaned. Um, but I like just kind of cleaning them as you go through them. You may want to just give them a quick little wipe down with your um, Listerine spray on a paper towel or soft cloth. Whatever works for you. We don't have to be picky about it. All right, so that's done. And then charge up your things that you do use. Like if you use your earbuds, go ahead and charge them and keep them, keep them up, keep them charged so that you can use them. Um, you know, I have my little... I'm going to see if my little fan here works. Apparently not. Hmm. See? So that's just clutter. If it doesn't work, it's clutter. And it's not working. I'll play with it a couple more times. Um, 
so that's what we're doing today look I even have more uh, headphones Bluetooth headphones all of that so gather go through group get rid of what is broken or no longer works and then create that dedicated space for the items that you have so that you know where they are so you can access them you know they work and you're going to be able to utilize them so that you reduce your frustration and enhance your happiness okay that is our those are our togas for today mani pedi day all of our health and beauty routines 10 daily documents um oh i wanted to show you on this 10 daily documents for filing the piles and then um go and gather all of your things paraphernalia items for your handheld devices and let's give them a a good organization and cleaning and another thing we're going to start doing is um, you may want to start kind of going through your phone um, your your um, documents on your devices so that um, like look I have 11,364 photos you know I need to go through those and uh, I have, you know, 50,000, I'm not joking, 50,000 photos on external hard drives. Photos are my thing. All the pictures that you see, I take myself. So, um, but you may want to start going through, backing up the documents from your tablets or handheld devices, making sure that you have all of the pertinent information that you need off your cell phone, um, important emails, and you want to have, or, you know, photos or uh, documents or notes or voice reminders, anything that you need to save, you can go ahead and back those up on your computer and then to an external hard drive so you have it all. Okay, that's our day today. I know this was kind of one of those days, but we're making progress. I'm proud of you. Sorry about the light. I don't know what's wrong with it. And um, I will see you tomorrow for wonderful Wednesday. Until then, this is the Organizer Advisor, here to help you transform your life and enhance your happiness. <laughs> so have a wonderful day. I'll see you tomorrow.